Move along. We are joined with Lucasfilm archivist, Madeline, you're back. Hi. We're so excited because this means that we get to see fun new things from the fun new movies. What do you got for us? Well, this is a new design for our Sith Trooper. I have a feeling you're going to really enjoy this one. Would you like to pull the trigger? Yes. Oh. We also have... Ooh. Oh, is this for that's, Jet Troopers? That's hefty. Yes. Wow. This is for the Jet Trooper. This is a projectile launcher. I think this is your new design for your t-shirt cannon, yeah? <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> this is a resistance blaster. Andy, I'm going to let you do the honors. Okay, thank you. Oh, oh, oh that's, that's got the clicky in it. That is satisfying. This is Janice Blaster. It's got like that's an old so cool. 1900s mm -hmm. blunderbussy steampunky thing going mm -hmm. with it. Another character that we see in The Rise of Skywalker who is an oldie but a goodie. I have a feeling you're going to figure it out. It's Lando. It's for Billy D. It's definitely <laughs> Billy D has touched this. <gasps> of course. That of is... course Lando has this. <laughs> Look at the pearl on the handle. Another pearl inlay. Oh, oh yeah. So what you're about to see is originally seen in A New Hope. That's a Dejaric piece. Phil Tippett, who built the initial Dejaric pieces for A New Hope, he actually researched the original chess pieces to rebuild them for Star Wars The Force Awakens. So now that they've been used in the sequel trilogy, we have them here in the archives. He has an armature built inside for adding mechanisms in order to move them as needed. Like That's not that's one fragile. I'm gonna be allowed to touch. <laughs> So we've got a handful more. I'm doing like the childhood field trip to the museum thing where I'm keeping my hands behind my back <laughs> and clasping them so I don't accidentally reach out. Oh, this guy. Pujix is his name. Yes to that oh, guy. Cool. He's got teeth in his claws. This is Mentelian Savrip. Oh, look wow. at his little neck hairs. It's very, very detailed. So the next item might be one of my favorite props from this film. This is Lando's cane. Look at my so. hair go up on end for really this. It really did. Oh, he has goosebumps. Ooh. You are such a nerd. That looks so good, though. That's really beautiful. beautiful. What does the uh, engraving say on it? The engraving says Baron Landonis Calrissian. If you look at this cane from the side, does that look the design? It looks, looks like, like Cloud New. City. It's like Cloud City. So this is the homage to Lando being the Baron of Cloud City. Does that feel good? Yeah, it does. Do you feel like a Baron? I do feel like a Baron, even more so than usual. This is Jenna's quiver full of arrows. That is so fly. But I like cool. the texturing on the Stormtrooper piece is really interesting and unique though. And last but not least. Oh! <laughs> goodness me! Wow. This is a heavy blaster for a Sith Trooper. So that's a very large weapon for normal sized dudes. That's one way to end this. Thank, <laughs> you. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing us all these amazing props. You're watching the Star Wars show.